Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Let's just get into it. What's Aquarius's current romantic situation? What is their current romantic situation? Okay. All right, so Aquarius, I feel like, um, I'm gonna be honest, I think right now is a rough time for you. I feel like there's things from the past that are holding you back. I feel like things that you've had anxiety on or things that you've been worried about, a fear, I feel like that, or a fear or a phobia, I feel like that's now come to fruition because you have the Nine of Swords, Three of Swords Tower. So obviously there was some type of breakup here and some type of loss. I feel like it may have been able, may have been with some type of third party situation, possibly a Gemini, a Libra, a Capricorn, or even you Aquarius, possibly a Leo as well. I feel like this, I feel like there was more than one person here and I feel like whoever you were dealing with, you or your person, were not being completely honest about putting themselves first. So because of that, I feel like your love life has been in limbo. There's a level of block here too. Somebody may have blocked you or blocked a conversation, like there's a lack of conversation here. And I feel like there's somebody that's definitely waiting. However, I feel like there's something that needs to come to light or something that needs to be expressed. This is moon and Aquarius, right? Capricorn energy, Leo energy. I also feel like too, um, Aquarius, I feel like something that you thought was going to work out, it just didn't. For whatever the reasoning was, like there was a level of secrets, there was lies. I think somebody was playing games and keeping you in limbo. That's what I keep hearing, keeping in limbo. But it's like somebody's trying to come in and act like, I want you, you're this, you're that. And then all of a sudden everything stalled. There's a huge break here. It's a current romantic situation for Aquarius. Hierophant reverse, three of pentacles. With the seven of pentacles. I feel like there's somebody that lied heavily. There's somebody that's doing it in a very unorthodox way. Like somebody may have lied and said that they were not married when in reality they are. They're working on more than one thing. There's a lot of pentacles here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's no cups, no cups at all. So it's a lack of emotion. It's a lot of swords. It's like lack of communication, lack of emotions, a lot of hiding, a lot of lying. And I feel like with this energy, there is some type of karmic lesson here. This is Capricorn energy. What's best for Capricorn, right? What's best for me? And I feel like it's working. There's something here that's working out with the situation, but it's also working out not in your favor, I feel like. And there's a level of reevaluating to do. I also feel like somebody is no longer contributing to the relationship. Let's just make Aquarius feel. How does Aquarius feel about their current situation? Six of Cups. This may be with somebody from your past, the High Priestess, and the Magician. You or your person know what's going on. There's somebody from the past that needs to be left alone. However, I do feel like somebody here, you or your person is hyper-focused on them. And I feel like you know what you need to do you know why you need to do it, but actually implementing that, it's not happening. There, it, it's like you're too busy waiting, watching and waiting to see if there's some type of um, commitment or something here, but the reality is there's two queens, queen of wands, queen of pentacles. There's somebody here that's in a committed relationship, whether it's you, Aquarius, or your partner, and there's somebody here that um, is, is here for fun. There's somebody here, there is another person here, whether it's another woman, another man, Somebody's going between two. One is a more sexual one and one is a more stable one. One may even be for financial purposes. But I also feel like, too, there's a very sexual connection here with this Queen of Wands. Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, Sag. 
What's what's caused this tower? The moon. Lack of conversation, lack of clarity, lies, not being honest. Um, six of pentacles, ten of pentacles. I feel like somebody pretended like they wanted to invest in a situation. However, this person was married or this person was already in some type of committed situation, you or your person that you, you or them haven't been able to necessarily let go of. That's what I feel like the current situation is romantically. <clears throat> who is Aquarius' this person of interest? Who, who is Aquarius dealing with? Who, who, who's coming in for them when they think about this? Okay, Ten of Wands reversed. So possibly a Sagittarius or a Gemini or a Leo. I don't know why, but I feel like this is two different energies. Who's coming in for Aquarius? Who's coming in for Aquarius romantically right now? Leo's coming in heavy. The Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Okay. First things first, I feel like this is somebody from the past that's coming back around. Okay. This is somebody that said, you know what? This is too much. I can't deal with this. I'm going to go ahead and leave. This also may be somebody that's moved closer to you or you and this person are now closer to one another. I feel like this person is very intelligent. This person has a level of conversation and I feel like they're very successful and um, it, they're, they're put on a pedestal. This person is very, very confident, especially if you're dealing with a Leo here. But I do feel like this person is in some type of committed situation. Ace of Wands reversed. There's the Queen of Wands again with the Two of Swords. So I feel like your person is having a hard time, Aquarius, and this can be you or your person. Somebody's having a hard time making a decision on what they want to do. Because again, there's two queens. There's the Queen of Pentacles and there's the Queen of Wands. Capricorn, uh, Taurus, or uh, Virgo, Sag, Aries, or um, Leo. I also feel like, too, there, there's a level of clarity here. There's a level of clarity on what somebody thought. Like, I feel like somebody gave somebody the, um, almost like pitched them a dream, like almost tried to pretend to be somebody's dream person. But in reality, it's like they had no intentions of following through on that. I feel like this person, you or this person was just kind of wanted to go out there and have fun and see what was going on. And Aquarius, for some reason, there you are again in the center there was something here that was still unsettled. There was something here that still was not expressed. And I feel like there was somebody that was waiting on a level of communication. There is a crossroads here though, too. Somebody's not necessarily made a decision and they're trying to make a choice for what's best for them. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, what's best for me? How do I move forward? What do I want? But I also feel like, too, there's something here where there is a lack of passion. I feel like with this Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands that's there, I feel like there's a lot of sexual energy, but it's hard to leave the past of the past. It's hard to leave whoever you've been dealing with for a period of time alone. What's currently blocking Aquarius? What's currently blocking them romantically? What, what's blocking these two romantically? The Hermit. The seven of wands, somebody may be, you may be physically blocked by somebody. The five of pentacles. This is Mercury and Taurus. So there's a lack of communication here. Somebody's gone in hermit mode. Somebody's not speaking. Somebody's not communicating. And somebody's 100% protecting their heart. I feel like also, if there is a third party situation, it's like no matter what you or your person does, when they offer, when they make some type of offer, it's always going to be rejected because this person still hasn't made a decision with exactly what they want. There's too many options here. And until this person understands, you or your person understands how to move forward, it's, it's not going to go anywhere.
I also feel like to Aquarius, you or your person is waiting for somebody to reach out and end some type of toxic cycle. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Cancer, or Capricorn. But it's like there's a level of being stuck here for some reason. It's like a lot of stuck energy. It, it, it's, a, it's a lack of communication. There's zero swords here. There's a lack of communication. Um, there's a lack of effort, right? The only wand here we have is that. We, we have cups and, and pentacles primarily. And I feel like there's somebody here that's angry. Angry at how things turned out between you and them. I feel like there's a level of drama that's stopping it. Like somebody has way too much drama in their life to entertain the situation. And I also feel like you or your person is at their breaking point, right? It's like somebody feels like they're being pushed or forced to make some type of decision. And I don't know. I just feel like it even may involve a divorce where maybe somebody needs to end, a, end some type of long-term relationship in order to move forward, in order to have a new start. But there's something here where it's like, whoever you knew, you or your person, it's like somebody's changed. I don't know if it's for the good or bad, but it's something that's changed. And I also feel like you or your person is fighting the connection. It's like they're fighting their emotions. They're, they're protecting their heart. It's like they're trying to resist whatever is going on in order for this to die. And I feel like somebody may even be reaching out, asking friends for help or something like that. Okay. What's coming in romantically for Aquarius over these next couple of weeks? What's coming in romantically for Aquarius over these next couple of weeks? There's the Queen of Wands. Ooh, there's the Six of Cups. That damn Nine of Wands, okay? Ten of Pentacles. High Priestess is in the center with the Hierophant reversed. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Three of Swords. Okay, so before I keep going, I just want to say, again, we're going to go over this in the extended, um, where we take a deeper look into each individual card and what it means and what that means for you and your person, as well as like a bunch of other questions. Here's what I can tell you. There's something here that's being worked out, I feel like. And I also feel like there's a lot that's being hidden that's not being expressed, but there's also some type of breakup and somebody's waiting. I also feel like for some reason, Aquarius, somebody may be reaching out to you, expressing what was done or what you did or who you were talking. There's something here. I don't know why, but I feel like there's going to be somebody either on your partner's end, but I feel like there's going to be a level of communication that's coming in that is unexpected. And it's something that you don't know that I feel like is going to change things. You have the moon here and you also have the uh, sun of swords, which is the knight of swords. So that's Gemini energy, but it's communication that's coming in that you don't see. If this is enough clarity for you guys, I love you so much and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.